Uh, next is from Tourist Wobbled, and the subject is Bret Hart Killing WCW. Morning, guys. I was just checking your YouTube playlist, and this topic has been spoken about, so sorry, Disco, if I make you roll your eyes at my markdom. Back when Bret Hart joined WCW, the ratings were already fantastic. Didn't really change at all. WCW had the same audience they already had, and then in the early 98 ratings went down below WWE. So my question is, with how often fingers are pointed and blamed, is direct to others. Was Bret Hart ever blamed for the drop in WCW ratings? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I mean, yeah, WCW didn't use him all that much, but the fact is when he was WWE's top guy for years, WWE weren't kicking ratings well, either. Well, and also, got, but bro, here's the guy another, you're not uh, using wait, wait, enough, wait, wait, it's not going to affect your ratings. You know? Here's another thing that has to be said, and it's true. It didn't help any matters any that Hogan didn't like him, Nash didn't like him, and Hall didn't like him. So he had three guys. But, here, but, in, but this is a weird dynamic. It, yeah. Hogan wouldn't work with them, okay? Right. Nash and Hall loved working with him, but they thought he was a mark. Right. You know, it seems like he was just a good work. Nash always, has always said, him and Brett, that's been the best matches he's ever had in his career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the first thing that they did, that they did I'll never forget this conversation, so sitting right there, it's like, when, when Brett was coming in, Kevin and Scott were saying, well, he's got to do a job. Because he was just coming from New York where he refused to do a job. Mm-hmm. And they wanted to make sure he was coming in to do business. It was like, okay, Eric's bringing this guy in. We got to make sure he, he's on the team because, bro, we were doing good business. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's not like we needed Bret Hart at that time. No, right. you know we we were rising. The, the, the we we were starting to beat Raw. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the, so. But you there, know, there, just didn't, there could have been something better done because he he was coming in as the uncrowned WWF champion. Absolutely, right? could, there, there's no question. Yeah, there couldn't the, the, he could have done something better. However. It's like the only thing that they really used it. They brought him in because you know, because Eric was still like in a feud with Flair and didn't think Flair was worth a dime because Hogan was here now. He wanted to bring Bread in to beat Flair, and he did. It's like he did. So that's like, bro, that that's that's the bro. Think about that. The the pettiness yeah, of the mind games back then. Think, think about this. Bret Hart's work, best work to me that I like the best was when he was leading that Canadian contingency with Again, Brian Pillman awesome. yeah, and uh, yeah. uh, Nightheart. Yeah. That, and, yeah. Hey, that was great, but then the sh- that happened with Vince took it to another level. I mean, he was coming in with all this heat, and they definitely dropped the ball on yeah. him. As a guy that punched Vince for real, knocked him down yeah. and all this. I mean, they did nothing with poor Brett. And then so the, I, the year later, the documentary came out and showed that everything he said was true. So it could have they could have actually even recaptured it, but by that time... You know, the things were changing in WCW, and I don't know. So he never got his chance till Russo was there, actually. He shits on Russo a lot, but Vince is the guy that pushed him to the world title in WCW, you know, which is interesting. What does he say about Russo? What, what, what's, what, what, why would he just that he's, why would he on him if he pushed him? I don't know. Just that he's an idiot. He really takes it to Bischoff, too. B- Bischoff's like the worst yeah, can't worm he, he who ever Eric. came in. Yeah, he hates Eric hey, for some reason. Eric. And Eric has Eric said that they, him too. Eric yeah. has said that uh, they squashed it at a dinner. But then afterwards, Brett continued to say the same thing. So Wow, they missed the first two penalty kicks here in Italy and Spain. It's crazy. Uh, What's the score? Re- so it's penalty kicks, 1-1. One, one. Oh, penalty kicks? They're in penalty kicks now. Wow. 